Raj. I'm Fernando Bonis, and tonight I want to talk a little bit about the French press. Uh, I'm going to try to teach you how to use it. It was a new method for me whenever I was employed by Starbucks about two years ago. Yeah, I didn't know anything about it, and now I'm just hooked on it. So, but first, let's talk a little bit about coffee and its, per and its perspectives. So, according to the International Coffee Organization, cited by Larkin, in 2010 and retrieved by me on 3 15 2010 uh, we serve about 1.4 million cups of coffee a day in the whole world uh, just the United States itself has 45 percent of, it, of, uh, of this amount and serve about 400 million cups a day consider that we're not even at 400 million people in the population so everybody roughly drinks a little bit more of one cup of coffee every day does that make sense so that makes us the biggest customer, the biggest consumer of coffee in the whole world. Um, there's a lot of contradictions with coffee and its uh, health benefits. I've heard ever since I started Starbucks, I've heard all kinds of customers say different things. But the point is that American Society for Nutrition in February 2010, and the trip by me also in March 15, 2010, uh, just now came out with a study saying that coffee and and um, health can really get along. Um, some new nutrients, just like calcium, were um, uh, discovered, and some polyphenols, which are basically some biochemical active uh, molecules that um, act in your system and um, as enzyme and promotes promotes um, some sort of uh, reactions for your in your metabolism, and that's really good. Uh, Price, another researcher, positively link uh, coffee consumption with, with type two diabetes. A lowering, a lowering of chronic inflammation and the rising of good cholesterol. So, how many of you would replace this mug with yourself? <laughs> That's how I think of it when I saw this picture. Uh, I have to have my coffee every day, doesn't matter what time it is, to get started. Um, and it's something that we do every day. Some people just do it for the flavor, some people do it because it works like a mental boost. But the point is that everybody, most of people don't really think about the quality of their coffee. Is that really quality? Is it good? Uh, how, the, how practical it is, or time consuming. Maybe you're, not, maybe you're just not going to brew that cup of coffee because it's going to take 10 minutes, 7 minutes. Or about the cost. If you pay $2 every day, in 30 days you're going to spend 60 bucks at least. And, and those, you know, those morning trips, they have to go to Starbucks and get your cup of coffee. So tonight what I really wanted to focus is two things. That the French press is the easiest and the best way to brew coffee, that you only need two ingredients to French press. And the French press may also fit your, fit your needs if you want some good quality coffee and you don't really have much time for it. So let's take a look at the French press. The French press is basically made of two parts. One is the cup. The cup can be made out of glass, metal, I mean anything. This one here is a new one I have in the store now. It's made of a post-consumer plastic. And a, the most interesting part, which is the lid, that also has a sliding plunge, uh, plunger that you use to brew your coffee. Uh, I found two descriptions on the literature, and they were written by me on March 15, 2010. One by Dan and one by Melissa Triolos. And Dan, and they both really talk about the same thing, that the French press, it's a method of brewing coffee where you're going to have water all over your coffee ground different, differently than the other ways of brewing coffee when the water goes flowing through the coffee grounds and don't really stay all over the coffee ground. So if you're thinking at, the mo at, uh, at a molecular level, you're going to have water all over it, so you're going to have more connection, you're going to have more uh, that, um, that um, transmission of flavor and molecules and everything. Uh, Melissa, so that's, that's what makes it simple. What makes it better? Melissa stressed the fact that um, you can keep, French press can keep the original oils coating the beans. And I'm going to show a picture later on. Beans actually have oils coating them. And if you didn't know, a cup of coffee has a, usually about five calories and they usually come from these oils that they have. If you brew from French press, you get have a more robust and more intense brew. And that's why coffee connoisseurs usually go with a French press rather than any kinds of brew because that's the best way you can taste your coffee. You have more aroma, you have better taste, and you have the oils. That's how we in the store start uh, the taste in all the coffees whenever we have new coffees coming from different parts of the world. Um, another cool thing, and that Dan talk about it, it's the strength that you can control the strength of your coffee just by usually adding more water or putting more grounds. You can just do it the way you want it. Is electricity free? I mean, of course, you're going to need something to warm up your water, but if you go out camp, 
you can just bring a little burner and you just have your coffee right there. And it's the best kind of coffee you can have. You know what I'm saying? It's not Eastern coffee. Kathan, uh, Kathan Bailey on uh, March 5th, 2010. Uh, they got a crew inspect that in New Hampshire. They had this massive power outage last summer. I mean last winter, sorry. And a store was able to do a lot of customer because uh, they were brewing French press. And were, everybody was amazed how we bring coffee you don't have electricity. So now that you know the benefits and you know what is a French press, let's go ahead and see how we brew using the French press. So as you're getting your, 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 your ingredients, you need to keep in mind the four uh, fundamentals of coffee brewing by Starbucks. Freshness, grind, proportion, and water. When you talk about freshness, look, this is a bean that it's freshly open about two hours before this, this photograph. And this one has been open for two months. Can you see the difference? You have oils, that, those beans are shiny, they probably have way more flavor and more aroma. While you go to the other one, the one on your right, you probably doesn't have any aroma and no more oils left. So you need an opaque air container, room temperature, you, you need to have a coarse ground, a coarse ground for your coffee, otherwise you're not going to be able to plunge it down, because it's going to be just too compact, so you want to have something that it's coarse ground. Uh, proportions, two tablespoons by six ounce of water, if you like the metric system, six, 10 grams per eight, 100 milli, 180 milliliters. Water needs to be clean and fresh, including the spring, temperature 195 to 205. So basically, I'm gonna summarize this, that's the ideal that we would do in the store. But I'm gonna do it really quick for you guys. You have a French press, and over here you have the, your coffee that's ready ground and it's coarse ground. You just add it to the bottom, like this. That's how I do my coffee in the morning, usually before I come from Branson to here. Then you just add your water, and it starts brewing right there. So what you want to do now is just stir really quick. Give it a nice stir. Finish it up with the water, all the way to the top. And that's the nice part about this, because this is a French press and it's also a tumbler. So it can take with you on the go. There you go. You just go, take it in your car after four minutes, and that's the most important part. You want to wait four minutes. After the four minutes, you just plunge it down and it's good to go. Um, so now that you know how to do it, that's why I think the French press might best fit your necessities. Because you want some good quality coffee, you want something that's cheap, and it's something that it's easier for you to take it on the go. So that's my solution. You take one of these guys. It, it runs about 15 to 25 dollars. You just add water and you're good to go. It's a press and a tumbler, and it's manufactured by bottom. Uh, it, can, it can also be backpack friendly, that's what I like to call it, because you can have in a small seal container, just like a cup of coffee like this. You can put your grounds in here and you can take it on the go. And if you're out of coffee in the middle of the day, you just go to any coffee house or a restaurant and you ask for some hot water. You fill it up and you're good to go. You don't have to pay for anything. You have the best kind of coffee you can ever get. And you don't have to worry about you know how they're brewing the coffee, their quality. So, I hope you can understand why the French press is my favorite brewing method. Because one, it's a simple and it's a better way. Two, it only requires two ingredients for you in just a few minutes. And it's, a, it's perfect for drinkers that are always on the go. You can make it better and cheaper every day. Thank you. Thank you for Starbucks as well.